All right, welcome to the fourth annual Black College Football Hall of Fame Classic here on a humid day in Canton, Ohio. On the grounds of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Virginia Union goes too tight. Motion coming across. Hand off oh, to Byers. Look at that hole oh, up the like middle. It. And he oh, takes like it. it up the middle, makes the break, and to the house. Oh, you like this. We talk about man. 22 personnel, two tight ends, two backs, one wide receiver. You send the receiver in blur motion, meaning right at the snap, he's right behind the quarterback. He diverts the eyes and attracts the attention of the Mike linebackers. Now you just run a little inside zone play, folds around, hits up inside, and this is what we talked about prior to the beginning. His ability to take the distance from anyone on the field. Number three is a special playmaker. Go. <laughs> All right, as West lines up in front of a shifting defensive front under. Oh, no. Off. Oh, man. Jabril Norman on the interception. Oh, oh he's a tackler. He picks up a block. He can take it all the way to the house. Jabril Norman, a house call on a big time interception. Oh, man, that's a backbreaker. Backbreaker for Morales. Great play by Virginia Union. Being able to pick it off and then escort. My man to the end zone. 68 yards to the house by Jabril Norman as Virginia Union's defense comes up with a huge play on third down against the Morehouse offense. And this is just four-man pressure. You see, the, you see the ball is dislodged really quickly. Pressure up the middle in Derek West's face. He forced it up. We talked about it earlier. You can't throw those dangerous uh, <laughs> duck passes up the middle of the field. Jabril Norman sitting there, snatches it out of the sky, and then just weaves through all the Morehouse defenders um, as they're trying to tackle him. And his best of his defense is right there to block for him. Great play defensively by Virginia Union. Reed. Hands off to Byers, great lead block ahead of him. Two uh, great blocks, Byers taking it to the house. Another big explosive run, 24 yards for Jada Byers to get into the end zone. Hello, is the escort service here? <laughs> All right, Justin Mead, I need you to pick me up and uh, take me to the end zone. <laughs> and that was a great job, right? Counter play off to the right side. Justin Mead, their All-American left guard does a tremendous job and then of course the receiver on the edge sealing it so that so that Jada Byers can get to the sideline and strolls right into the end zone great job look at number 19 and he is just doing some big work um, on the outside blocking off the defender and that is uh, Keon Dickens uh, isolating to the inside Christian Reed Remains a quarterback. He's been the guy the whole time. We've seen R.J. Rosales in for one series for Virginia Union. But it's Reed Reverse. with the pitch, lining up to throw the ball. Number 16 and number 19. He goes up, catches. Looks like he caught that ball. Was that Keon Dickens on the catch? Wow, and the throw by Nair Morgan Sr. Here's the crazy thing. Aaron Morgan might have been able to scoot and score if he just kept it on the reverse. We look at the reverse. When you look at here, there is no one on this side. There's one guy, but he had blocks for him. He throws it down the field. This is a great catch. You know, the young people down there, they called him, he got bean topped. He got bean topped. I'm surprised he didn't wake up and walk up and just pat his top of his head after catching over top of the DP. Picking peanuts off of his head at the end of the third quarter. We will be back. Okay, Virginia Union on the one yard line. Christian Reed lines up under center. Got the reverse wishbone look. They hand it off to that man, Jada Byers. His third rushing touchdown of the day. This one is short work. Short sweep. Right to the point. Get big bodies and doing, doing big body things. FC, FCS programs got 36 scholarships. And of course, the FBS 85. Oh, as we're seeing. Virginia Union take it in on a beautifully designed play. The fullback, Cho Johnson. Jada Byers, the first guy out there to clean because Joe Johnson's been cleaning guys up for him. But when you see a play like this, I'm sorry I'm talking over this, but Joe Johnson, the fullback, on this little Well, it goes hand in hand. Uh, when you have run action and you come with the bootleg, this is how you marry it up, peanut butter and jelly. Run one way, bootleg out the next, hits the fullback in the flat. No one ever covers the fullback in the flat. Rosales dropping back to pass, under Whoa. pressure, evades it again, a slip. Oh. Look at the moves, Rosales has plenty of room. 
Rosales with the scamper around left side for the touchdown. I can see now, Steve. I can see why the competition and why you want him. He has a little magic to his game. Not only when we talk about what he's able to do throwing, because very comfortable in the pocket, but they see the elusive. You've seen it on a couple occasions. That has a little stuff to him. All right, Brady Myers. Looks like he's going to be trying about a 27-yard field goal. Knocks it through to add to Virginia Union's lead up to 45-13. Remember, Virginia Union, this was an offense that averaged 40 points a game. All right, so for more on our post-game festivities, let's send it down to Sherry Burris. All right, well, I have our MVPs for this game. The final score, as you guys said, at 43-13, Virginia Union on top. We are going to start with our defensive MVP. It is you, Jabril Norman. You had the pick six out there, 68-yard return also. Fumble recover. Give it up for your guy. This is just the start of the season for you, but two incredibly big plays to lead to this win. What led to your production in this game? Um, first of all, I want to get all glory to God, of course. You know, without him, I wouldn't be who I was or half the athlete I am today. Uh, and then my team hopping me up, you know. I'm a transfer here, so it's new, and they welcomed me in, you know, and gave, you know, run the energy in, run the intensity, so I just fit right in there, you know. <laughs> How do you guys ride this momentum as you head into a new season? What was that? I'm sorry. How do you ride this momentum into a new season? Um... Hey, taking the game at a dime, game at a time, day at a time, you know, practice at a time. That's how I look at it, you know, and being on point. That's all that matters. Congratulations, Jabril. Yeah, all right, our MVP on offense, Jada Byers, three TDs, 149 yards. You got that there for you. I know you had such high expectations for yourself after such a productive year last year. How do you feel like you're just picking up where you left off? Ah, like I tell everybody this, it's not me that's doing it. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. I got the best front five in the nation. There's nothing else to tell about it. I give all glory to God, give it to my front five, and we're going to keep growing and do what we got to do. Like Coach said, on our shirts we got made this year, play for 11, we're just going to do our part for play for 11. Saw a bit of emotion on the sideline. Just how much does it mean for you guys to be able to win this classic game? It means a lot. It just shows what we came out here to do and show what everybody with Virginia Union is really about. And like I said, we're going to play for 11 everywhere we go. Congratulations. All right, we got Coach here, Coach Parker with Adrian Allison. No, you're good, Coach. You see your guys just with the trophy, the emotion. How do you describe this? We're extremely excited. We're glad to be here. You know, we were able to came to come here and represent like we did. So I'm just happy. It's about the guys. These guys have been working hard all summer. So, you know, to kind of come here and play like we did, I was good. How does this set the tone of what you guys want to keep accomplishing? Um, this team is just trying to set their own mark. They want to be their own team. They don't want it to be compared to any other team that we had here, and I respect that. So today was their chance to show that. They showed that they can finish. Similar question for you. How do you ride this momentum? Um, it's a short week, so, you know, we got to get back and, and prepare right away. You know, it's not a lot of downtime, and I think, you know, these guys have the mindset that we can do that, so, you know, it's the next game for us. Congratulations. Enjoy that happy flight home. Thank you. Bus ride. <laughs> Bus ride. <laughs>